Yo, what's up, Flyheads? I have a very funny topic to talk about today. I've been in the Final Fantasy community for a while now. I first played it back before it was A Realm Reborn, and then I picked it up again in Heaven's Word. And, you know, I've been playing on and off ever since, keeping up with the community, what they've been up to. But today has been by far the funniest and goofiest drama I've ever witnessed within the Final Fantasy XIV community. A topic today is this billboard. This community has posted, this subset of, uh, of folks within Final Fantasy decided they wanted to advertise their ERP nightclub using multiple billboards across America, which is insane. Never in a million years would I have thought that would have been a thing, you know, um, an ERP nightclub. We'll get into that a bit later, but, uh, so the billboard says Rain Nightclub Summer Bash using the official Final Fantasy logo on the bottom left there with their own tagline and everything. Advertising their ERP Discord. On top of that, these characters are wearing modded outfits because they're data mined from the game. They don't actually exist in the game yet. And they are posed in a third party tool. There's a lot of stuff going on. There is, this is crazy. I have never seen a billboard, a fan billboard this capacity dude there's been some final fantasy 14 advertising that doesn't even get this good okay this is crazy this is insane so yeah essentially they had this big summer event they wanted to get everyone to come to balmong you know and just rejoice you know dance the night away trade some gill pet some chocobos uh do erotic role playing you know just uh just all the good shit rolled into one night now as funny as this is this is kind of a bad idea from them. You know, I don't want to watch them suffer and, and, and go through some issues with, with legal teams and stuff like that. That's never fun, but I don't know how they thought this was a good idea. Well, I mean, okay, to be fair, to be fair to them, their marketing paid off. They may have spent thousands of dollars on these billboards. I think one of them was like a digital billboard too. That's that's kind of nice. The Reddit, Twitter, the whole community all knows about this now. So you know what? The I'm sure the ERP event will be a night to remember forever. If you don't know what ERPing is, by the way, yeah, erotic role play. Okay, I'm not an expert. I believe. Okay, contrary to popular belief, I am not an expert in ERPing. The one time I almost ERPed, I in Monster Hunter, I did the kickback emote, and a, a female member in the um, party. Uh, she accidentally did the lament emote accidentally and, and fell on top of me and that was in 2010 that's the closest i've been to uh, erping um allegedly now listen whatever you want to do on your own time within the confines of the final fantasy server that's none of my business all right okay you know in fact this entire spectacle is none of my business but goddamn, do i like some hot gossip but yeah so they're they're advertising their event here and what baffles me is that they have the data mine clothing they put that on so their thought process is not only are we going to advertise this community event in this game and use their logo we're going to be putting modic characters on there and uh, you know pose in in their in these tools and then like tweet about it and, and let the whole world know if their goal was to let as many people know about this event including square enix they have nailed that shit dude i am impressed i am impressed with them okay you know square enix has done some funny ads in the past there's the advertisement with tom holland and hannibal burris that was fun you know they put some I think they had some shit in Times Square. I think what Square Enix should also do is put a bunch of billboards across America, advertising their next expansion to capitalize on this moment. You know, that'd be that'd be pretty funny. What's interesting is that the individuals in the Discord, it is a public Discord, by the way, they mentioned that they aren't breaking any TOS, but they do have the modded clothing and the third party uh, uh, posing and stuff like that is against TOS. I don't know. I don't know. Legally, if you could just put a, a logo on it and, and advertise it on a, on a billboard and, and get away with it, you know, never done that myself. Essentially, the essence of the situation is that there is a there is a possibility that Square Enix and the Final Fantasy 14 team crack down on the modding community as well as the, uh, you know, nightclub community, the ERP in community. Oh, God forbid. Um, in Final Fantasy 14, and this might uh, be the cause for it. These billboards, these ERP billboards, like that is so funny, man. You know, if anything, this was just a horrible mistake. You know, maybe they had got a great community going. Maybe their nightclub events are fun as hell. I don't know. And you know, there's a chance Square doesn't really do much, if anything, cease and desist, I don't know. 
but the reason why people are worried about them cracking down on like third party tools is because there's already some drama in the community with you know there was the um world clear of the latest ultimate raid it's one of these raids that are super hard and uh, tough to do and some of the people who cleared it or maybe the ones that cleared it first they had some third party tools help them with the with the fight i'm pretty sure yoshi p the the game's producer posted a whole th goddamn manifesto about uh what their thoughts on third party is and, and how it's not good but if you have it we won't know I mean it's like a gray area kind of thing so it's already really tense with that kind of stuff you know the modding community they're, they're kind of like they're in the shadows they do a lot for the game they have a lot of really cool mods that a lot of people enjoy i know a bunch of my friends use them and it would really suck if they were like you know what no this is it this has been publicly broadcasted a lot of eyes are on this now i'm not helping this i know but hey drama and you know things could go sour i hope that's not the case but if it is this would have been the the, the funniest way any of this has ever happened <laughs> In the history of whatever so basically they, they bought their expensive billboards put it up community found out about it obviously because they they tweeted about it and people are seeing a final fancy ad while they're driving they're like hey this this doesn't look quite legitimate i think and and now we await what the square enix and the team have to say maybe they say nothing and if that's the case then you know rock on brother either way but the point of this video is what I'm trying to tell you guys is I'ma see you at the ERP nightclub, all right? I'll be wearing a chocobo suit. I'll get my glow sticks out. You know, we'll do a couple emotes, right? I'll be signing autographs. Anyways, I just I wanted to talk about this because it, I just, it showed up in my, uh, my timeline for everything. And I just thought it was so ridiculous. And like, I love Final Fantasy. And seeing these goofy ass events occur within the community is is very amusing to me. I hope there's no like negative repercussions for the modding communities of the game. Ever since the game like blew up, you know, like all the WoW refugees went to the game and it kind of had all these eyes on it, all these big streamers play it. You know, the community is a lot larger now. Th this kind of goofy stuff, it doesn't get swept under the rug as easily anymore. Like if, if I think about the dramas that I've seen in like 2014, 15 era versus now, like this is, the whole goddamn squad knows about this now, all right? This is this is publicly broadcasted. You know what? I should probably get my own billboards. If it's this successful, you know what I mean? Put down some billboards, one by one. Let's get it. Hey, go fund me in the description. And I know they publicly have their Discord, you know, on their banner, but I, I, I please ask you guys not to, like, go in there to harass them and stuff. Hopefully they learn from their mistake, but I don't think any type of angry mob is going to be fixing the situation whatsoever. Before I end the video, I just want to ask a question. What do you guys think about this situation? Do you think they're in the wrong here? Do you think people are overreacting? Let me know what your take is, and I'll see you guys very soon at the nightclub. See ya.